This is Patrick from STH. Today I just wanted to show you a quick finding we had with some of our AMD Ryzen motherboards, specifically using the AMD B350 chipset with IO MMU. The B350 chipset is AMD's mid-range offering and important for this exercise, it does not support PCIe 3.0 bifurcation from the CPU. But on the plus side, it costs a lot less with a lot of motherboards coming in at $100 or less. IOMMU is a virtualization feature that allows you to pass devices directly through to virtual machines, such as the video cards we're using in this video. Just to ensure the system is running stable before we start this, we're doing some Monero mining on two video cards and in a Docker CPU image. We have a Gigabyte RX 480 in the PCIe 3.016 slot that cannot be bifurcated, so the RX 470 is sitting on a chipset PCIe slot. As you can see, we're running Docker without issue, and we're also on Ubuntu 16.04.2 LTS, and we've upgraded to the Linux kernel 4.10.1. We have a guide and video on how to do that. The setup overall works really well, but let's see what happens when we decide to reboot the system and turn on IO MMU. So we'll reboot the system, and what you're gonna notice very quickly here is that we're gonna get a lock on one of the CPU cores. This is a patch kernel, so this is a bummer, but on the other hand, you hear a lot of folks talking about ECC memory support with Ryzen. That's a great feature at some point, but for right now, you're not gonna be having an issue with memory errors causing a lockup. It's gonna be something software-based. So now that the system is rebooting, what we're gonna do is get into BIOS real quick. We have a number of these systems set up in the data center. They do have different BIOS uh, versions, but we're seeing this behavior all the time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn IOMMU into enabled. So we're gonna turn it on. Once this is enabled, we are going to have to save and exit the BIOS and reboot again. On all of our systems, we have remote reboot capabilities. It's something that if you're developing on Ryzen today, you're going to need. Hopefully, vendors will come out with IPMI enabled Ryzen motherboards in the near future. The default kernel that we're using is the 1604.2 upgraded to Linux kernel 4.10.1. And here you see an AMD VI error. This error persists and will continue to spit out messages every so often. For the sake of brevity, we're just going to go back to the BIOS, turn off IOMMU and confirm that everything works as it should and is stable. We're now back in BIOS. We We'll go and disable IOMMU, save, exit, and reboot as we did last time. As you can see, everything will reboot into Ubuntu 1604.2, just as we had expected, and we'll get to the logon prompt without issue. We can start running Docker images and whatever else we want. Overall, there are still a lot of nuances to the Ryzen platform. And we are giving access to motherboard and OS vendors into our lab so they can fix some of these bugs. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more cool videos.